Whitlock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect they'll want to congratulate you. Ooh, this fancy looking lady must have something nice to say to me. He's alive. <laughs> thank you, Corvo, thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons. But I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. Sweet. They're all corrupt. If this is going to work, we have to take down the Lord Regent and all of his key allies. You know that. Attention. Yes. All citizens. Hopefully the high the overseer is the, the first step along that. John you did it. Somehow you took down the high overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shit. Made just casually, totally not yes. eavesdropping. And Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the <laughs> Lord Regent is holding Emily. Just skip that line, apparently. To reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with later. Usually they let you upgrade after you've slept, so... Oh. I know the Golden Cat, not as a patron, mind. Mm -hmm. I designed some specialized devices for them. I kept the blueprints, if anyone is curious. Don't. I brought you tea as a courtesy to a colleague. I won't make that mistake in the future. I'm sorry. I uh, only thought... Never mind what I thought. Thank you for the tea. I have to get back to the Admiral. He has news for me. Master Piero has a great deal to learn in some areas. Like flirting? Ah, hello, Corvo. <laughs> His face. There are oh. important things we must. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. Ah. So I will be going into those sewers. Oh. Of course the game would put me right in where I need to be. If I was that sick, I don't know if I'd want to be alive still. Especially when there's no cure.
You went down there in the sewers? Yes. I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You did. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Yes, yes, I am. And has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. You're welcome. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. So these are the brothers that tied him in his crib and set a bunch of vipers loose on him. Corvo. Corvo. I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard. Cruel beyond words. Maybe that's why he has to drink so often. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent. And as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted and quarantined for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch. So it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. Oh ho! All right, Samuel, let's go look for Emily. You as close as I can. I mean, the Golden Cat, Cat is a you know, I have to go place for women of the home. night. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to More you. than you know. Be careful going up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers on Clavering now. I guess you getting rid of Campbell shook up the Lord Regent. Oh, Jesus. Already?
Didn't think about that guy on the bridge. You're just the man I was looking for. Oh. Slackjaw's wanting to talk to you. Well, that can't be good. Is that him? He's the one. Hey, we got a message for you from Slackjaw. He wants to talk at the distillery. This 100% feels like a trap. Go on. Slack jaws inside. I don't think they're gonna last much longer. That's what they get for taking free swigs from the still. That tainted elixir is bad stuff, I guess. It's what they call irony, I think. Elixir is supposed to prevent the plague sickness, fight it off. But someone poisoned the bootleg still, and now we got the elixir that gives you the plague. I don't think that's what that word means, idiot. Well, how would I know? It's some other word then. Anyway, I almost feel sorry for the poor fools that drank that bad elixir. Oh, I didn't get to explore over here last time. Yoink. I'll be waiting for you. Does Slackjaw have the distillery key? Or the reserve distillery reserve key? Huh. Easy, easy. You just need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. Rest of us get one part elixir, three parts water down. Well, that's just to make the swallowing go smooth. Well, I ain't taking no chances on getting the plague. Drink till you drop. That's my motto. Well, that's one way to live your life. This art dealer, Bunting, is a man of taste. If anyone left in Dunwall has something worth stealing, it's him. So whoever opens the safe gets double the normal cut. I need to find a rat. Not. He is a villain if I judge your looks aright. A villain I might have some work for. Somebody put plague in the fruit tank. Half my men are weepers. Trapped three of them in the distillery. Rest are wandering in the street. Since it's so, and I find myself short of able bodies, I may have a point of interest for you, see? Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing round here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? See? Yeah, well... Slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while. Not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cap tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there dressed like that and kill the Pendleton brothers? 
Maybe I got a better way to take care of them too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Sure. Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. Oh, Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. Sounds like a plan. That for sure. <laughs> this was a trap. You should get where you're going, little man. Little man? I take offense to that. Oh my god. I'm so stupid. How did I miss that? Ooh, one of those. No! Oh, I pressed the wrong button. No, you slid the wrong way. How in the world do I get out of here? Ah! Don't mind me. Anything other in else interesting to say about that? What a mess, huh? Old town's gone to trash. What the? Want to look at some of the things I've found? Good prices, I swear. There's a freaking trash can right in front of my face.
Oh yeah, I forgot that I swiped that. I guess there was a good reason to go down down to the bottom floor after all. What do you think? Oh jeez. I think he's dead, right? I know that. I mean, do we have suspects? Suspects? What? Suspects? We ain't gonna waste time solving who killed him. Personally, I'd buy who did it a drink. But what are you gonna put on your report? I'm gonna say we found one of Slackjaw's men inside, all dead and bloody, and that you are a stinking idiot. Wait. I need more men. Dang it, I didn't think it was gonna turn around that fast. That was a stupid mistake on my part. I know you're somewhat I pressed the wrong button. Oh jeez. had that key. I should probably be talking about something or other, right? Well, I'm not a very interesting person, so I don't have a lot to talk about. I'm sorry. It's probably super boring. But, I never claim to be the most exciting person in the world. What a guy down here? Two guys.
be easier to get this guy first. Oh, if I can get him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oops. Nothing. An arm? Gosh, I still don't have a pantry. Where on earth is the pantry key? Stay there for now. Wow, you're just totally hawking loogies all over this guy's house. I thought there was an audiograph player in, in here somewhere. Unless I totally missed it. Which is a complete possibility. I really hope there's nobody right on the other side of this door like there was last time. Come on, Stu. One more try. They wouldn't have such a strong door unless they kept some interesting things on its other side. I'm telling you, it won't budge. Not even a bit. And I think I bruised out my shoulder. So stop your crying and give another shove. Just imagine what's right behind it. Don't get your feet up there. If you're so sure, then you shove it. Mr. Bunting, I know you've been waiting for the golden cat to reopen. You've probably been suffering, you poor dear. Pfft, yeah, right. So let me offer you a warm welcome to our lavish reopening tomorrow. I assure you that everything has been cleaned up top to bottom. After that touch of plague, we're ready to take care of you. Everyone here loves you, and half the girls consider you a friend. Are these guys going to get mad at me? Huh? Yes, they are. Why do people care about Who's that? Somebody with coin. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Yeah, nice. That doesn't look comfortable. It would appear this art dealer has not lived here in a long time, or else he doesn't mind living in... Well... Less than ideal conditions. Art dealer's combination. Hmm. I don't think I did this one when I first played through, so I actually have... Zero idea where I can find it. Just a random empty hallway with a sink. So there were two more guys downstairs looking at a painting. She 
wasn't those Dutchies. Oh, yeah, Sokolov. Probably can't even sell off the junk. It's not worth I can take it off the walls. I might go upstairs. See if the mother two found something worth the trouble. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. So far, they don't seem too interested in me. Ah. I have made a big mistake. Oh my gosh. How did. Ah. Uh. Super awkward just talking to yourself. <laughs> All right. Oh, I have to go back. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, all right then. He doesn't seem too bothered by anything at this point. <laughs> Somebody lands on you out of nowhere and no, nah, no big deal. Happens to me every day. I feel like I came in here before, but apparently not. What on earth? Nice. Oh, a weeper. I need to stock up on sleep darts. Yeah. Ah! Nice. Didn't have blink equipped like I thought I did. Occurred to me. How come it's always me who pay for the whiskeys? <laughs> Shush up your mouth. You know I can't work out the right number of coin. It's embarrassing. Aww. 
Aha! Oh. Oh, it's right here. What's this? Information for my missing guy. Let's have a listen. Still, you and me had a deal, and Slackjaw never goes back on a deal. Take this key. It ain't for the golden cat, no. This key's for the captain's chair. A hotel abandoned since the plague gutted this part of town. Take the stairs to the top. You can use the roof to get into the golden cat brothel. Thank you. See that? Slackjaw keeps a bargain. Just as good as the men who run the city. Maybe a little better. You think about that. Now maybe we can help each other out again. I could get rid of the Pendletons for you, quiet like and without killing them. But you gotta do something for me in return. Sure. The cat's having a big reopening tonight. Lot of money clients, including an arts dealer name of Bunting. He's got particular tastes, or so I've been told by some of the ladies. Got some pretty fancy stuff locked away at his place. And the only thing preventing me from nabbing all that loot is the combination to a safe. Of course, the Pendletons have been camped out there for months too, not sure why. So that means a lot of the city watch and other soldier types. Bring me that combination, my masked friend, and then I take care of the Pendleton brothers, just like that. You ain't never even gonna touch them. And I promise, I won't kill them, and no one will ever see them again. Now, if that ain't a deal, Slackjaw don't know what is. Sounds good to me. Let's get to it. Now before, I think that I just used the roofs, but it could be fun to use the rat way. First floor. I need to get the men in position. The ivory room. All I can tell you is it's very heavily soundproof. I'll leave the rest to your imagination. 
Custis is easier to manage. Some nights he just waits in the smoking room upstairs and talks. It's funny what people will pay for. Missing Women, Golden Cat. I'm only going to read this because it sounds like it might be interesting. Mr. Arrowhoff, I assure you my family has the means to pay you and your associates. Should you locate my sister, I've got her name and description and everything else we need about we know about her initial weeks in Dunwall, before Patrice stopped writing to me. However, there is one other detail, so hard to believe that I was reluctant to mention it. There is an establishment within Dunwall called the Golden Cat, a bathhouse, I believe, though some say it's a brothel. I find it impossible that practice Patrice would ever be connected with such a place, but I would be remiss if I did not pass along the information. Just before her letter stopped coming, the cousin of an old friend said he saw Patrice performing there, singing and playing the harp. It could be nothing, but please investigate. Lastly, if your search of a city has not borne fruit by the month of wind, I'll be making the trip to Morley, from Morley myself in order to re retain another agent. Sincerely, Madison Cainbright. Well, that's a suggestive position. Good night. As long as these girls stay up here, mountain. I know that's a bone charm, but I honestly can never find fountains to just enough fountains to justify giving up one of my slots for that perk. Madame is still down there. Now there's two guards. I just leave her in her office. Nobody should come in here looking for her, right? Hopefully. Wow, that's a lot of makeup. Oh, it's all smeared. I know we're running low on beds, but I must have a room for that child. She's more important than you can guess, and recently she got almost got away using the VIP entrance. That's why I decided to keep the master key in my possession. The, this girl must be cared for, even if she is a brat, and I want her kept in a room to herself. Around, aren't you? They, they, they told me you were head chopped off and in the prison, dead, like like mother. Well, they lied. Seems like a long time ago. But <clears throat> you're not dead. Now we can leave. I have a plan. I almost got away twice. There's a special door to come and go for special people, and I'll show you. And if anyone tries to stop us, you can fight them. Should I have done the other mission first? Oh, I probably should have done. It's this way. back I probably should do the rest of my stuff before I have to do an escort mission if that's what that ends up being so 
Oh, didn't realize this was a totally different room. Finally, I've been like this for 20 minutes. Your footsteps sound a little loud. Have you gained a little weight, Anna? Now, just like last time, understand? Slowly, and only trigger the shock at my command. Get it? And the safe word tonight will be retribution, let's say. You hear that, you stop. One shock out of line, and you are out of a job. Oh. Oh, that's good. I deserve that one. Shall I tell you why? The Pendletons are here, right? I'll start with them. I've cheated them. Robbed them of thousands. Huh. Oh, you're ruthless. Don't hold back. Why would you enjoy I'll being you electrocuted? Pendleton's well, I, I mean, he's consenting. At Told them it was junk. Retribution! Retribution! Ah, oh, that was perfect. But it's all I can take for tonight. Call my servants. We're done. Ah, we're done, I said. Retribution! Now let me out! I'll have you whip, you bitch! Ah, what the... Who is this? What do you want? The safe, yes, of course. The combination is one, three, eight. Take anything you find. I think I felt my heart skip. I have to go all the way back. Who are you? Why are you? Okay, we've already seen this, so I'm gonna skip it. I guess she would have waited down there for me while I did everything. Oh well. The door is locked. Unlock it so we can get away from this place. This place is on the river, so you must have come by boat. I'll wait for you near the boat. Oh. I remember the way. Don't Perfect! Oh my gosh! Lady Emily. I thought that was going to be a hassle and a half. No wonder I don't remember it because it was so... Oh Jesus, she scared the shit out of me. So easy. Come on. Come to dinner now. That's right, my sweet little birds. Come to Granny. Granny won't hurt you. It's good to see you again, dear. But don't dally. Or that young girl might fall in the river.
they should be gone. I shouldn't have to sneak for any reason. Um, one, three, eight. I got the Boyle Party Invitation! Fantastic! I'm sure that I was gonna have to do something annoying to have to get that later on, because I know we do go to the Boyle Party. Is that- that's not what we do next, is it? the valuable things but you can still have the key I mean the combination you brought me the numbers I've been after this combination for months if you ever need steady work you come see me slackjaw knows a good man when he sees one it's only natural that you'd be curious about what I intend to do with the Pendletons see the Pendletons got these rock mines have hundreds of souls working down there half a mile deep below ground. So I'm gonna shave their heads and cut out their tongues and put them in one of their own stinking minds. I then appreciate see it. Life from a different angle. Oh my gosh, he's still up there saying, huh? You watched them get killed. Why are you surprised? Are you both ready to go? Corvo, you must have worked wonders out there in the city tonight. I can't believe my old eyes. Chaos is still low, good. Only three bodies found. Probably the ones that were in the office. Oh, well, there wasn't an outsider shrine. Oh, but I still missed a rune somewhere. And a bunch of coin. Probably if I had like pickpocketed all the people in the in the club. Cool. 